Welcome to Science Easy Tech channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about effect of radiation, drugs and chemicals on developing fetus. So this uh, topic was taken from Genetics for BSc Nursing Second Year Students Unit 2. The name of the unit is Maternal, Prenatal and Genetic Influences on Development of Defects and Diseases. So under this unit, today as I have told earlier, we are going to discuss about effect of radiation, drugs and chemicals. First we will see what is a teratogen. Teratogen is nothing but any agent that can cause structural abnormalities in a developing fetus following an exposure during pregnancy. When you are exposed to some teratogenic agents that can produce some structural abnormalities in the developing fetus during pregnancy. That agent is named as teratogen. That agent is named as teratogen. Next to moving on to teratogenic agents. What are some of the teratogenic agents? We have so many agents out of that the main classification is physical agents, chemical agents and infectious agents. Physical agents, chemical agents and infectious agents. Under physical agents, you have hypothermia that is excess heat, ionizing agents and radiation. Okay. Under physical agents, you have hypothermia, ionizing agents as well as radiation. Under chemical agents, you have drugs and chemical substances. Under infectious agents, you have so many types of bacterial, viral, fungal infections, etc. Let's see one by one. Radiation. So heavy doses of radiation can lead to developmental abnormalities like microcephaly that is small head. Micro means small, cephaly means head. Okay, small head. Skeletal malformations, malformations of the skeletal system as well as mental retardation. The brain will not be, the mental functioning will not be developed properly. So this is with regard to radiation effects. Next, we will see some teratogenic drugs. So, the drugs which leads to some conditions. So, some teratogenic drugs, example, thalidomide causes phocomelia. What is this phocomelia means? The extremities, that is the hands and legs, the upper and lower extremities will be extremely shortened or it will be underdeveloped. So, sometimes you may not have even the legs or hands or even if it is present it will be very small the bones and all will not be developed properly and it is attached to the uh, shoulder and the hips so that is called as phocomelia some anti-epileptic drugs like phenytoin, valproate, carbamazepine, everything when it is taken during pregnancy by the mother, it can lead to abnormal spine development in the child that is spina bifida here. The spine will not be closed properly or will not be developed properly. Next is Retinoids. This retinoids causes cardiovascular system as well as central nervous system abnormalities. Next, moving on to ACE inhibitors and lithium. Now, this can lead to goiter and congenital heart diseases, etc. Okay, conditions like goiter and congenital heart diseases. Then OCP, that is oral contraceptive pills, warfarin, everything can lead to microcephaly, that is small head, uh, visual impairment, uh, then mental retardation. Okay, some drugs like um, tetracycline, if you are going to take, uh, it can lead to tooth abnormalities in uh, children. Okay, so there are so many drugs, only I have listed down here a few drugs here. Next, moving on to infectious agents. So, one thing you should not forget, torch infection, T for you know, toxoplasmosis gondi. Sometimes they will be telling TO for toxoplasmosis gondi or sometimes O they will be telling for other viruses or sometimes they will be telling it as orthomyxoviruses or for rubella which can lead to German measles. If rubella infection is going to be there, it can result in uh, deafness in the child. If the mother is going to have rubella, it can result in deafness in the child. C for cytomegalovirus, H for herpes simplex virus. So, this is a short acronym for uh, remembering the uh, infections, common infections which uh, can 
cross the placenta vertical transmission we used to tell that is from mother to fetus by means of placenta the, the transmission is going to take place the, the virus or bacteria is going to go miss it is called as vertical transmission because this uh, infectious agents can cross the placenta and it can enter into the fetus circulation and it can lead to abnormalities in the child there are so many other uh, infections like epstein barr virus in tuberculosis infection syphilis infection chlamydia infection gonorrhea infection hiv varicella that is chicken pox uh, then hepatitis b virus infection hepatitis c virus and so on just i have listed only a few infectious agents so many organisms as i have told earlier can cross the placenta and can lead to malformation in children what are the symptoms which uh, syndromes which caused by teratogens so some syndrome syndrome is nothing but a group of symptoms or a group of conditions so some syndromes are caused by teratogenic substances or fetal alcohol syndrome fetal hydantoin syndrome fetal fetal trimethodion syndrome fetal warfarin syndrome so fetal alcohol syndrome fetal hydantoin syndrome fetal trimethodion syndrome fetal warfarin syndrome and smoking also can lead to low birth weight infants if the mother is a smoker it can lead to low birth weight infants or low birth weight child okay so these are all some of the uh, etiological agents uh, which can lead to malformations or abnormality in structural uh, defects uh, uh, of the uh, fetus so this teratogenic uh, uh substances or agents are very harmful for the developing fetus hope this video has given you a clear idea with regard to the teratogenic uh, substances either it can be physical chemical or it can be drug or it can be infectious agents uh, hope you like this video if you like my video please give me a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel my previous videos link i have given in description box or you can watch our channel playlist for more videos thank you friends keep supporting to science easy tech channel